Hello fellow Aliens collectors. I thought I would do a little bookshelf tour of some of the things that I own. I've probably been collecting Aliens things since about 1997 and then a few years, you know, probably seriously started actually trying to buy things after that. Um, probably only just a few years ago. I acquired a few things by accident or was gifted them and uh, I've loved, basically I've loved Aliens and the Alien franchise since the late 80s. I was really, really young and the first ever horror film I remember seeing, horror inverted commas, was Aliens. I remember very distinctly being maybe about five or six and my mum and dad had uh, Aliens on in the background on the TV and I can remember the scene where the alien rises up behind Newt in the water. <laughs> Uh, I just remember that, that's one of my earliest memories from being a child, so uh, as you can see I've got the shelf behind me, so I'm going to flip around and give you a So just start, uh, the top shelf's mainly kind of just a few bits and bobs like some of the computer games, uh, the films on Blu-ray, the DVD quadrology, the the trilogy of books that were released by Titan just a few years ago, uh, I was gifted this H.R. Giger art book. Uh, once, I think maybe about five or six years ago. Now, these two books here, these are, uh, apart from the Alien Alan Dean Foster paperbacks, the two books that I bought in 1997 through a book club. So it's the, the Alien 3, sorry, Alien Special Effects book and the Alien Resurrection Script book. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's ever going to win any awards. Um, and also this uh, hardback copy of Music of the Spears, which I've never read. It's always just sat on the shelf. So uh, so I started taking it a bit more seriously, I don't know, two, three years ago. I started wanting to collect the Aliens comics. It always just, it was very background interest. I didn't realise there was this enormous um, kind of secondary part of the universe to explore after the second two films. Because let's face it, I think many of us were disappointed uh, by Alien 3 and the fact that Newt and Hicks and Bishop are all basically dead in that film and uh, after we'd fallen in love with the characters at the end of Aliens. I personally like Aliens 3. I know that's a bit of a contentious opinion but I, but as an adult I've grown to appreciate that the production problems and the kind of development hell that David Fincher went through um, to make Alien 3 and the studio breathing down his neck I don't think he ever got to make the movie that he really wanted to so that's just my opinion on that I like it, let's not talk about resurrection <laughs> so anyway, um, I digress I digest I've got the Alien Illustrated story I've got the uh, 30th anniversary in oversize uh, which contains the original few stories so, sorry, my camera's off all angles there and this contains Nightmare Asylum and Earth War. Uh, it's good to know that these editions actually have the, the names restored. I think the comics after Alien 3, they had to wreck on everything and call Newt and Hex by different names. It was Billy and, oh God, something else I can't even remember. It was pretty terrible, but I, I don't, but nowadays everyone just retcons things all the time. I mean, look at how, look at how often the Spider-Man universe is, has been a, uh, Rat and played by someone else. Uh, I got this was very very difficult to find on the internet. I think I can't even remember how much I paid for it now, but it wasn't in the hundreds. Thankfully, I think it goes for that now. Um, I received it from, uh, bought it from eBay, and it, when it arrived, it absolutely stank of cigarettes. It was disgusting. It obviously didn't come from a smoke-free home, but I have a copy of it, and it's it's the most complete version of the Fire and Stone event across um, across Prometheus, Aliens, A AVP and Predator. And then they had a second one a few years later, uh, so that's the complete life and death. I bought, I pre-ordered that, so that's in good condition. Um, I've got the oversized format of Dead Orbit, which I think is actually one of the best alien stories to come out in recent years. I've not really enjoyed any of the last few comic book stories, if I'm absolutely honest. Uh, but this was very enjoyable, and I think some of the artwork in here is really very good. I don't, I don't know a huge amount about comics, but apparently James Stockholm is quite a big deal, and I really enjoy this story. I think it's uh, some of the artwork, and that's really good. I'll do a flick through of that one day if anyone's interested. 
uh, Aliens, Colonial Marines Technical Manual. I think I got this as a two-for-one deal back from that book club when I got these back in 1997. <laughs> I don't think I've ever read it, but it's quite cool and it's obviously still in quite good nick because I've not touched it. Uh, this is the Predator Judge Dread Aliens. Now, I made a bit of a mistake. I bought this from eBay and it's in German. <laughs> so... Bit of a waste of money. I think I spent about £20 on that as well, so I'll have to find someone who is German or can speak German and also likes aliens. So as you can imagine, there's not a gigantic market for that. Uh, Green Lantern versus Aliens is a crossover. I haven't read it yet, but I got it quite cheaply. Now these took a bit of scouring to get. Uh, and even more scouring to find all of the ones with these grey spines because there are other editions of this that have a big black dark horse emblem right across it. Uh, I'm not interested in getting the Predator omnibuses, especially now that these new formats are coming out. I think they're bigger and they're better and I'm going to stick with those. I might even sell these on one day, but I know perhaps I should keep them so that they appreciate in value over time. So yes, that basically at the time that these were released, they were the most complete way to collect every single Aliens comic that was ever released. With the exception of a few... Um, I've got a spreadsheet somewhere that tells me a few things. I, I don't think Aliens Countdown was ever collected again. Um, part of me wants to email Dark Horse and ask them just to collect all of the incomplete stories. <laughs> so moving on to the next shelf, um, I shared a picture of my, um, what do you call these, sorry, uh, Funko Pops the other week. So we've got uh, two different versions of the Xenomorph. I think that's 731. And that's 7.30. I think this is my favourite edition of Ripley, but I've not got the one from Aliens yet, where she's running about with the with the little machine gun, the pulse rifle. Um, but yeah, they're very cool. I like those very much. So now this is where we get quite serious in terms of the comics. I've collect, I'm have i collecting the trade paperbacks and all of the singles of, of all of them, basically. Um, I've, obviously, I've been subscribed for the last few years for the newer comics, but these are some of the kind of proper 90s throwback, go back to old school. Um, and I'm quite proud of the collection that I've acquired so far. Um, I'll do, they're quite well packed in there just now, so I won't pull them all out. But basically we've got the original run, which was then called Outbreak, uh, Nightmare Asylum, Female War or Earth War, depending. Um, sorry, there. sorry, Xenomorph, I'll move you out of the way. Although I'm not sure it's a xenomorph. I don't know why people call it the xenomorph. Uh, genocide, uh, Hive and Harvest. Uh, what's after that? We've got... Uh, sorry, I'll go up to here. I made these... By the way, I made these. They're just little laminated tabs so that I can see where they are. So yeah, Hive, um, Newt's Tail, Genocide, I think that is. No, that's Alien 3, sorry. Uh, Colonial Marines, Earth Angel, Havoc, Alchemy, Rogue, Labyrinth, Salvation, Music of the Spears, Stronghold, and that More Than Human, which I think came out about 2009. Um, and I've got the kind of somewhat difficult to get a hold of now, the Alien Isolation single. I paid... God, probably about twenty pounds for that. I wish I hadn't paid so much, but you know, if you want, if you're a completionist, um, so yeah, these four were the the first four things I ever bought as part of the Alien franchise. So I've had these since about nineteen ninety seven. I actually think all four are very good. The original three are by Alan Dean Foster, and the fourth one by AC Crispin. Now, at the time, I actually thought the most readable and most enjoyable out of the four was Alien Resurrection. Uh, you know, that's a bit of a hot take, but there we go. Uh, I've read the Alien Covenant uh, novelization Again, some of the rationalization in that makes it better than the script and better than the movie panned out because some of the decision-making in that film, I just thought, who are these stupid people and why are they in the Alien universe? <laughs> I think the reason we enjoy the original movie so much is because people act like people and make normal decisions, not just for the sake of plot. So, yeah, and I got I found this in HMV in Edinburgh 
in a shopping centre for about ten pounds. It was sitting on a sale rack, and I think they're very, I think the Queen's actually really difficult to get a hold of now. Um, I know everyone's all about those, you know, the seven and nine inch figures, but I quite like the Funko Pops. Um, I'll maybe come back to. Uh, I'll maybe start collecting the figures one day. Like I quite like all the NECA figures; they look detailed enough just for a bit of fun. Uh, and we'll not get into a debate about <laughs> the cheapness or the plasticness of them all because I think there was some weird guy kicking off on the collectors group in the last few days, and it's just a bit draining to read. No one wants no one wants that negativity, mate. Uh, moving on to the, uh, there is a gap just because of the way my shelf pans out. But uh, what have we got next? So. Yeah, I've got Berserker, or I think it's called Frenzy. Sorry, uh, Berserker and Frenzy Lovesick, which is a one-shot. Uh, this is where we get into the Aliens Fire and Stone. So I've got the Aliens ones, Prometheus. Um, well, I don't have any of the rest yet. Uh, Aliens Defiance, I got them as a job lot. Um, Aliens Life and Death. Prometheus Life and Death. Predator Fire and Stone. Oh no, I do have all those. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Predator, Fire and Stone, Prometheus, Life and Death. I've really got these all mixed up. <laughs> uh, Dead Orbit, which is very good. Um, Dust to Dust, which is absolutely throwaway in my opinion. I don't think it's... I just don't think it's really up to very much. Um, then I've got William Gibson's Alien 3, and i got the, the hardcover, you know, I suppose the version of a, a trade for that, but it's in hardcover. Um, and then the sequels to Alien Isolation, which, by the way, is a brilliant game. I don't care what anyone says. I think it's fantastic. We've got Aliens Resistance and Aliens Rescue. And I have read them, but again, I find them quite forgettable. So here we go. Uh, and then my final shelf. I'll just take these out of the way first. I have the omnibus versions of the paperbacks. I don't have number seven yet. Um... I've had this copy of Genocide since about 1997. Uh, Aliens vs Predator Prey, never read it. Uh, I've pre-ordered all of these, uh, Prototype, Isolation and Phalanx. Haven't read them yet. Uh, well, these are my cards because I bought that. I've ordered that Alien RPG. Not all of it's arrived yet though. Uh, Alien Echo, which I believe is a young adult, a YA novel. Haven't read it yet. And these are just some parts of the Alien RPG, which I may play one day. Uh, and then lastly, I've just because they're part of a job lot, I don't think I'll ever collect these, but I've got the very first ever five Alien vs. Predator comics. They worked out about like a pound each or something, which is really not very much. And these are my double dipping by accident. I've got copies of Earth War, all four. Um, all issues of Genocide, all issues of Hive or Harvest, and very, very lastly, sorry, I know this is jerky camera and very annoying. If you want a better look at these one day, I can, can film it. And I've got the Essential Comics, which I think I'm going to collect all of these across across the three platforms. So I'll get Aliens, Predator, and Aliens vs. Predator. So, so there we go, folks. I know that was a bit slapdash um i'm not a youtuber professionally <laughs> but as you can see i've got quite a nice little collection there just a personal collection um and there we go that's my shelf and that's a childhood bear just ignore that so there we go yeah so as I say, I just flew through that, no editing whatsoever. I've been collecting for well, well a long time now, since '97. God, what does that make that? Twenty something years now. Jeez, oh. And yeah, if you are interested in a bit of a deep dive through any of the items here or a flick through the items, then just post a comment below. Um, I'm also going to post this. Oh, well, post this on YouTube. So comment there, or go to the Aliens Collectors Forum on Facebook. If you want to have a look, better look at anything or a flick through any of the comics, um, I might share some kind of better quality pictures and images of some of the collection. So there we go. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed that. Coming up to the 15 minute mark, so it's a bit of a long one. But yeah, thank you for watching and keep collecting. Bye. <laughs>